Hello Year 6, welcome to Tuesday the 9th of February and it's Safer Internet Day. Um, so you will see on your overviews that there's no specific English or science lesson planned for today and both of those have been replaced by the work for Safer Internet Day. Um, so the work you're going to see is the same work pretty much as the children in school are doing um, across all of Key Stage 2, that's Year 3, 4, 5 and 6. So one of the things we're going to question today is an internet we trust, exploring reliability in the online world. So can we trust the internet? Can we, can we trust what is on there? Um, and how do we consider whether something is reliable when we look at the online world? At the bottom, you'll see it says Key Stage 2 Assembly. Now, the uh, web link for this will be put onto uh, the school website or onto Seesaw so that if you wish to watch the uh, the assembly that the other children are going to watch, you are welcome to. So what is good about the internet? Now, during this video, there will be quite a few opportunities for you to either pause, have a think, or join in with an activity. So make sure, if you've not already, get yourself a piece of paper and a pencil, and just have a go. There's some fun little games that are taken from real-life board games um, as well. Some of them. So these are some of the reasons that you might like the internet. It's, there's an amazing range of information, opportunities online to do all sorts of things, to learn, to get jobs, to play games, to uh, interact with friends. Um, there's potential to inform, connect, and inspire us. But are there any negatives? Again, have a think. What negatives can you think about the internet? Fact or fiction? Can we trust everything that's there? Influencing, persuading, manipulation, emotional. Now, manipulation is an interesting one because we think about other people manipulating us, maybe saying things to get us to do things. However, that can be the same within advertisement. And if you use fake or false information online, that could manipulate somebody to do something, to buy a product when actually it doesn't really do what they need it to. So our first task today, our first little game, is a game called Scategories. Now it is a board game, a real board game that you can buy from the shops. And you're gonna have five minutes to think of an answer for each category beginning with S. Now I'm being very generous with five minutes because I think in the real game, I think it gives you maybe one, maybe two minutes um, in total. And if you can do it in two minutes, that'd be fantastic. Because you just have five points for each answer you manage to score in that time and consider your total. So like I said, if you want a challenge, don't give yourself five minutes, give yourself two. You're going to need to pause the video in a moment when I show you what you're going to do um, so that you can use that time to have a go at the task. So each category, your answer has to begin with S. So we'll, I'll show you what that means. So you've got four questions here and the answer to each question has to begin with an S. Now, like I said, I've given you up to five minutes. I'd suggest if you want to challenge yourself, you narrow it down to two, maybe even one. And then try it for some different letters if you want. See how many ways you can do it. How many different letters can you come up with? And the four questions are something you enjoy doing online, the name of a game or app, a YouTuber online show or channel, and a topic you can research online. So all of those four answers need to begin with the letter S for this round. But you can make it begin with any letter you want. Okay? However, each time you pick a new letter, make sure that all the words answered have the same letter, okay? So, fake news. You might have heard of fake news. It's been uh, politically mentioned a number of times, particularly during the US election. Um, who's your source? Where are you getting your information from? And I know there's something with the our year sixes that we have discussed, particularly with uh, Wikipedia. When you search things in Google and you're looking for information, Wikipedia generally is one of the first sites to come up with information. However, anybody can access Wikipedia and change the information on it. When I was at school, at high school, a boy in my year group changed the information about my school and wrote something completely different uh, about a made-up school. I think he made it seem like Hogwarts from memory. Um, so anybody could change that. But if somebody went on and wanted to find out about my high school, when that happened, they would have found completely false information. They would have had a different picture to what it was like. So fake news, it is everywhere. You've got to be careful about which sites you trust. So, synonyms for true and false. Think about true and false. What do we mean by the words true and false? Can you think of other words that have the same meaning? 
you might say correct or right for true, false, uh, phony, um, are, are possible options that are synonyms for those words. So have a think now, what words could you use? So here you go. So we've got true, wrong, fiction, imaginary, incorrect, genuine, correct, untrustworthy, untrue, make-believe, unreal, trustworthy, false, real, pretend, fake, right, and fact. Now, if you, got, if you would like to, again, pause the video here and see if you can split them into two columns. See if you can organize these into two perfect columns of uh, true, synonyms for true, and synonyms for false. Pause the video, have a go. All right. So what is fake news? What do we mean by the term fake news? Well, fake news can be false information, photos or videos purposefully created to confuse or misinform. It can also be genuine information that has been manipulated to deceive. It is important that we learn how to distinguish between news and fake news. So I see a lot of fake news content, a lot of fake celebrity gossip, fake gossip. Adverts on web pages showing celebrities with extreme weight loss transformations and stuff like that. Adverts and pop-ups, or even occasionally strangers' messages and such. People on TikTok making up news, conspiracy theories. You'll have heard a lot related to uh, the coronavirus. There's so many different stories about coronavirus, about the vaccine and all sorts of different things. And that is a really good example of fake news. Now, I'm not telling you which bits to believe and not to believe, but you've got to be very careful as to where you get your information from. If you just believe anybody you see on TikTok, let's say, or anybody you see release a, a little video, a celebrity who has their opinion, if you believe that as the most sort of important idea, as the absolute fact, well, where have they got their information from? So why does fake news exist and how do we decide if it's trustworthy or not? And this is where it gets tricky. People can profit from the things they do online. And what do we mean by profit? Well, make money from, uh, gain something from. It doesn't have to be specifically financial. So they get something they didn't have before. Somebody might go online and say that the PlayStation is the best games console. That's not necessarily true. It's also not necessarily false. But they could be doing advertising for PlayStation. They may be getting a PlayStation for free by doing that. Okay, so you've got to think of why are they doing what they're doing. All right. So money paid to advertise or promote things, things that cost money given for free, and new likes, views, subscribers, or followers. I know a lot of you know a lot about YouTubers and people who run online um, sites or uh, social media accounts and. Um, one of the ways they can make money is by getting a huge number of likes and subscribers or views each day. And companies will pay them to advertise their products. They will pay to advertise on their site or on their account, and they will send them free gifts. So the reasons for what they are doing, why are they doing what they're doing? Okay. If they say something boring like we should, you know, following a particular rule, um, children need to be at school on time. That's not going to get them many views, okay? It is true, children should be at school on time, but it's not going to engage an audience. It's not going to make people want to visit their site. Whereas, if they say something controversial, something exciting, something engaging, then that will make more people want to watch their videos, more people like them, give them opportunities to make more from what they are doing. So on the next few slides, we're going to have five seconds to think about the definition of each word. You don't have to write it down, because five seconds is very quick. But have a think about what the word might mean. So, unboxing. So, an unboxing is a video where someone unpacks a parcel on camera. Do you think people would make money from it? They might. Might be that they're getting sent something for free. They get to unbox. Okay? When I say money, it might not be financial. I've got to keep going back to that. It might not be actual money, but they might be getting free items, free things. Giveaway.
a competition where a free prize can be won. Somebody going to make money from that? Or profit? Well, they might do. They may not have had to pay for the prize, so actually somebody might have given them the prize to give away, but they're going to get so many more likes. They might have advertising offers from it. Okay, more views, more people visiting their account. Collab. Collaboration, where two or more people or companies work together. Will they profit? Again, they might do. If companies are working together, people are working with companies, they might have an opportunity to make money by saying, if a famous sports star is wearing a, another company's train, it's, it could be a collaboration. And by wearing that, children may see that star and think, oh, do you know what, I want that trainer too. So again, that person is, is profiting from it, the company and the person. Merch. Merchandise, products available to buy connected with a popular person or brand. Will they profit? Yes, definitely. Okay, they are going to sell it for more than they paid to have it made. Or they're going to sell it and somebody offered to make it for them. So they are making a profit. Okay, it's going to attract more people. It's free advertising. Once it's out there, it's got their name on and somebody else. You buy a jumper, it has somebody's name on. You wear that jumper with that name on. You're advertising for that company. So you're sharing it straight away. Not only are you paying to buy the product, you're sharing it as well. An affiliate link. A link to another website. Often a shop where the creator earns money every time someone clicks on it. Will they profit? Yes. So again, um, if they advertise a product for a company, and the company asks them to put the link onto, onto their social media site, they might get paid every time somebody clicks from that link onto the shop site, okay? So it's those sorts of things. Why are they telling you to buy this product? Why are they wearing that product on their camera? Not only what are they saying, but why are they doing the things they're doing? And this is what you've got to be thinking of, why, all the time. So did you know people posting things like videos online must tell you if they've been paid to advertise or promote something? They have to do it by law, okay? Because there is therefore reason behind what they're doing. They have an ulterior motive behind what they're doing, okay? So ad, gifted, sponsored content or an advert. They have to tell you if that is what they are sharing with you. So there could be more to your favorite YouTuber than you thought. It's always helpful to think about motive. Why are they doing what they are doing? A motive is why someone's doing something. So let's have a look at these and think about their motive. Sharing a photo online could be more than one. They might genuinely want to share somebody's photo. Or what are they wearing? Where are they? Who else could benefit from this? They could be supporting an article or some information. They want their family or friends to see it because they want to sell something shown in the picture because they find it funny. So there's lots of different reasons why somebody might do that. Run a giveaway to get more likes or subscribers to celebrate a big achievement because they're being paid to advertise a product to reward their followers. So think about which ones of those are you going to profit from? When you see something online, ask yourself, where has this come from? Who created or shared it? What do they want me to do? And will they gain anything? This will help you understand their motive and it will mean you act in a more reasonable way based on what they are doing. So let's put those skills to the test. What is the motive? Have a look at this post. Unboxing my new merch designs. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Super excited to share my brand new merch designs. Totally inspired by you all. Don't forget to pre-order. They're going to sell fast. So where has this come from? Who created or shared it? What do they want you to do? Will they gain anything? And remember, we talked about merch before. 
Every time somebody's selling merch, they will profit from it. Think about what is written, what they say. This is completely inspired by you. You better pre-order. They're going to sell fast. Okay? They're trying to make you act immediately. Not giving you time to think, do I need it? Do I want it? Act now or you'll miss out. Rainbow Toys, welcome to the family. Thank you for shopping with us. We would like to give you a surprise gift from us. Fill in your email and we will send you a discount code to use on your next purchase. It sounds lovely. Get money off your next purchase. However, what's it encouraging you to do again straight away? You've obviously bought something from Rainbow Toys. The suggestion is they're going to want you to buy something else again. And by offering that discount code, they're hoping you're going to do it straight away. Here we go. Gaming giveaway. We did it. We made 1 million subscribers and giveaway ad. So you can see it's an ad. So straight away, that should ring alarm bells. That should tell you, I just need to check carefully what's going on in this. Thanks so much for all your amazing support on this epic journey. Subscribe and comment below to enter the giveaway. Thanks to Totally Wild Games for the amazing prize. Now, again, look how many views they have. Okay, subscribe and comment. They are building subscribers. They're going to get more people wanting to advertise. They're gonna profit more from it. Although a giveaway sounds lovely, it's sponsored. It's not actually taking them. They're taking anything from them. Somebody else has given them the prize to give away. So think about those things all the time. Okay, so today's tasks. On Seesaw, there is an activity just follow the instructions and answer the questions on there. And then the second task is on Purple Mash and it's on your to do's. Now I'm going to quickly show you how that works. So, there are five fake or fact articles to read. Look for clues that tell you that they are fake. So, let's have a look at how this is going to work. So, we'll go into Purple Mash. You log into Purple Mash, and this is where you get to. And, well, I say that, you might get to this page, your home page. And all you need to do is go on to do's, and you'll see fact or fake. Okay? So that will be set for you tomorrow. Good luck with the work. Look forward to seeing what you produce, and I hope you learn a lot from today's lesson.